Well, I just came up with the stupidest idea you could ever think of, and that is this. Have you ever wanted to annoy yourself so much that if you flip on a switch, a, a servo will turn it off? No? Just me? Alright. Well, okay. You're being annoying. What the hell? Whoa. Relax. What the hell? Well, this stupid was idea. Wait. Damn. I just got brain damage from doing this project. Well, anyway, this is how I did it. This is the A3144 Hall Effect Sensor. It is non-linear, meaning it cannot pick up the strength of a magnet. All it has is an internal switch which sends zero as a data signal once there is a magnet present. Now, this pinout seems simple. You just connect 5 volt to 5 volt, ground to ground, and data to your digital pin. Well, you are wrong. Also, you are right. You do connect the pins like I said, but you also have to connect the pull-up resistor, which in simpleton terms, is a resistor that sets your data signal to a high. And since this is a normally closed Hall effect sensor, it needs a reference point, which is 1. And for some of you wondering what would happen if it didn't have this resistor, well, it would be in a floating state, which is just a data output or a signal that doesn't have a reference point, either a voltage source or a ground. This causes the reading to be unpredictable and inaccurate. All you do is connect positive to 5 volts and negative to ground. And yeah, that, that's it. Oops, that's a loose ground. There you go. This is the easiest circuit you could ever think of. Besides an LED. So we come to a full circle, but this time I do not have my flashlight on, and my acting is a lot worse. Except, well, the light flashing. Oh, oh. The only way to stop this is by plugging it. So, yeah. Pretty cool. If you have any stupid ideas, Share them in the comments. I'll probably do them because I'm running out of ideas.